It's no secret that Stephen King is largely considered to be the king of horror, at least in these modern times. And it's no secret that there's no better time to read horror than the season of the witch. However, for those who are newer to horror and don't want to dive right on into the gory and monster-filled worlds, it can oftentimes be a struggle finding the right next book. So today, I'd like to offer needful things to all fans of the creepy, whether you be a seasoned veteran or brand new to the genre, who are looking for their next spooky season read. Let us briefly explore the wonders and pitfalls within this book so that you can decide for yourself whether or not Needful Things is right for you. What if the devil were to set up shop within your small hometown? And what if this shop were to have your most inner desire and at an unmatched discount? This is the surface level premise of Needful Things, and while it may seem a tad rudimentary, a tad basic for Stephen King, I can assure you that as he peels back the layers of this multifaceted town, as you learn more and more about the characters, their wants, their rivalries, their long and tragic backstories, the more invested you'll become with this story, not only eager, but feeling the need yourself to see how it all ends. Of course, it's the characters that make a book such as this work. Some you will find relatable, some you will find charming. And some you will come to find are such detestable, loathsome beings that you'll want to see them burned at the stake. While their arcs are a bit lacking for the most part, save for our two main leads, Polly Chalmers and Sheriff Alan Pangborn, the relationships within this expansive town and how King explores the interconnected web of societal structures is by all means flawless. It's an extraordinary feat that King is often successful at that makes this book feel alive and makes you feel a part of this town and their story. Both Alan and Polly are divine, lovable protagonists, and Mr. Leland Gaunt, our shady, shifty shop owner, is a superb antagonist to pit against them, one to rival the likes of King's own Pennywise and Bradbury's Mr. Dark. But none of it would work without King's writing style, his prose, his tone, his habit of gifting unique although long backstories that change your perception of a character within any given chapter. The book is a tad long, and the pacing wasn't always to my personal taste, but it all worked wonders given the characters, the plethora of themes that King fiddles with, and of course, the town of Castle Rock. This is the last book to be set within Castle Rock, joining the likes of Cujo and the Dead Zone, but that said, there's no required prerequisite reading to pick up and enjoy Needful Things. There are small connections, but they're always addressed in just enough detail to help newcomers fill in the gaps. Castle Rock is a tight-knit town filled with gossip and nosy onlookers, especially within the disagreeable religious groups of the Baptists and Catholics. However, the various circles that make up this small town support one another the best they can. Just do your best not to get on anyone's bad side, especially that crazy old Wilma Jerzyk. It's hard to classify Needful Things as a horror novel. It's not exactly scary, not even all that spooky. However, it is chilling, and it serves well as a dark comedical drama hoisted up by King's expert writing style and especially his mastery of tone. The story can take some time to get into, but as soon as you become acquainted with the particular style and story structure that this novel employs, you'll find its claws digging into you just as tight as Mr. Gaunt's own claws dig into the small town of Castle Rock. I think this is a superb read, just shy of being a classic. It's certainly not King's best novel, but it's amongst the top in my opinion, and I'll certainly have my score reflect that with an 8.5 out of 10. It was a bit too long for me, but if you're in the mood for a nice, long, chilling slow burn to fill up your spooky season, I think Needful Things is more than adequate. It is certainly deserving of being picked up and devoured. But those are just my brief thoughts on the book. If you've read it, be sure to add your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will meet you guys there to discuss this one further. I've got plenty more book reviews on the channel for you to check out, including shorter ones such as this, as well as more thorough, full-length reviews. So if you're a fan of horror, fantasy, and or sci-fi, my hope is that you'll find your next read within either of those playlists. But as for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for tuning in to this two-minute book review. I will see you all next time.